Let's start the experiment by creating a reaction with Pepsi, Mentos and soap. We will now add a special liquid to make it bigger. This will increase the chemical reaction. I will add the pounder and the mantas and there will be a release of heat. We call it an exothermic reaction. Let's see how big it can get. As you can see, the liquid rapidly breaks down into water and oxygen gas. The oxygen gas form bubble. These bubble will... By adding a little dish of soap, that provide an additional surface tension allowing the bubble to get trapped and creating a lot of foam. Now let's start the main experiment with Fanta, Coca-Cola and Sprite. I will now pour the soda into this 4 liter bottle. The reason we use bigger container is because later we will need space to inflate a balloon inside. Now let's pour some Coca-Cola. And finally, let's pour some Sprite. Now that the soda are inside of the bottle, let's add some color in it. I decide to use red color for the Fanta. I decide to use black paint for the Coca-Cola. Let's put a little splush inside. And finally for the Sprite we will use green paint. For the next step, we need to pour some liquid soap inside of the bottle. This will help to create more bubble by trapping the oxygen. Sure that all the ingredients are mixed together, we will shake the bottle. We will now add Memtus inside of each container. Last step before starting the experiment will be to inflate balloon inside of the bottle.
Inside of the balloon, we put a catalyzer that will increase the chemical reaction. To pop the balloon, we will use a knife. As you can see, the first one to react is the Fanta. Maybe the catalyzer didn't mix well with the Sprite. Let's see what's going to happen. As you can see, we have a bigger reaction with Coca-Cola and second place we have Fanta and last we have Sprite. We can see only a, a small amount of green color. It's been a while and there are still bubbles forming inside of the container. I have a piggy bank filled with money and I'm not able to open it. I will smash it with a hammer. I am now curious to see if I can destroy a soccer ball. The impact have created a hole on the ball. I will now destroy a jawbreaker. The color inside are very beautiful. Let's smash a can of Pepsi. It is always cool to see this in slow motion. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as I did. I had some extra Orbeez so I decided to pour them inside of the bottle and now we're going to smash it. For the last experiment of the day, we will destroy a bottle of cream soda. There is a lot of gas inside of this bottle, which might get interesting. 